learning new information about the crash that caused a Middle Tennessee volleyball player to have her legs amputated. Thank you for watching News 2 F4. I'm Mark Kelly. And I'm Alex Dennis. And according to arrest documents, the driver was on bond for several charges and violations against him at the time of that accident. Smyrna High School senior Janae Edmondson was in St. Louis for a volleyball tournament when she was hit by a car Saturday night following a match, forcing doctors to amputate both her legs. A witness recounts the moments that the crash happened. People having a good time on a Saturday evening, standing around doing nothing wrong, enjoying each other's company, and a, a car going 50, 55 miles an hour slams you. <laughs> The horror caught on camera. Police say the suspect, Daniel Riley, drove through a yield sign slamming into another car, causing it to go airborne, crashing on top of Edmondson, pinning her between another parked car. According to arrest documents, Riley is facing a list of charges, including second degree assault. At the time of the crash, Riley was on bond for several charges and violations against him. Police say he does not have a valid driver's license. Edmondson's team's assistant director moved to tears about this week's tragedy shares a GoFundMe page is raising money for Edmondson and her family during this difficult time. You know, this was a street sign that wasn't obeyed, and uh, in an instant, this young person's world and her family's world changed. I think the words that we do have is just how wonderful of a kid Janae is, a young woman, witty, tough, persistent. Well, that GoFundMe has raised more than $160,000. Weismer said that Edmondson had recently verbally accepted an offer to play volleyball for a Middle Tennessee college.